So most years when it comes to the end of the year and it comes to sneakers, you know, there's a lot of debate about what is the sneaker of the year. But I felt like last year, the Ama Menier Air Jordan 3 pretty much was the unanimous choice amongst everybody from sneaker YouTubers, uh, you know, columnists, uh, influencers, everybody. This was considered the sneaker of the year last year. Now, this year, there's a bit of, you know, a little bit back and forth going around, like what is the best sneaker of the year? So the top contenders we've seen for sneakers that people can actually get are the Alba Menier Jordan 4s and the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1s. If you didn't see my video for the Air Jordan 1s, I just did that, go uh, peep that after this video. But today in this box, which came in on Wednesday, it is now Sunday, but um, we have the Air Jordan 4 on my mini airs to you know look at assess kind of look at is it the best on my mini air jordan has come out compared to the jordan 3 and see if this deserves sneaker of the year if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the like button subscribe hit that notification bell to uh, get notified when i upload and let's get right into this unboxing so of course starting off with the box let's get this As we know, Ama Menier always comes with these special boxes and they come with their own sleeve. You don't need that box anymore, but let's flip it to the right side. And this is actually the same sleeve on the Jordan 3s, which you could take a look at uh, after we look at these, and the Jordan 1s, which I also had, but I sold, it wasn't my size. Um, but yeah, Ama Menier takes really strong attention to detail. So we have this sleeve right here, and then you have the box, as you can see, size 13. I did want a size 12 when I logged in. Uh, I got these from Mama Manier straight from the uh, website. I was like 15 minutes waiting. My size 12 sold out. 13 seems to be the most abundant size. I've seen a few people with this. So label reads Air Jordan 4 Retro SP. Colorway is vault, uh, violet or medium ash black. So, you know, pretty much Mama Manier sticks with this same like purplish violet color. So let's take the sleeve off and we have Alma Manier branding right here, regular Jordan 4 flight box, but like this color is actually coming up really nice on the camera as well. This violet war is super nice, but let's take off the lid. Of course, with that attention to detail, you see on the inside the lid is uh, Jordan hitting the uh, that shot over the Cavaliers in the playoffs, wearing the Jordan 4 bread, so. Nice attention to detail there. Now getting into the most important part, the sneaker. So take over the paper and you have the Air Jordan 4 Ama Meniers. These are super nice. Oh, I actually like, I didn't even notice this. So the purple on the bottom or violet is different than this. I didn't even notice. That's a nice contrast you got going there. So we have our Nike Air on the back tab, which, I mean, outside of Travis Scott for most of his Jordans, I mean, you don't really get that Nike Air. So, I mean, uh, we got a little blue stain right here. But as far as the materials go, it's kind of like a new buck. It's not a suede for sure. Definitely not. You see, there's no like motion when I rub it, but it kind of feels like the the bread for us, I'm not gonna lie, but a little drier, if that makes sense. We have this special Ama Menier Jordan hang tag, which is different than most, you know, Jordan 4 hang tags. Uh, you got that Ama Menier branding right there where the Jumpman would go. And pretty much that violet ore throughout the whole thing, black and cream midsole, and like a lighter whitish purple uh, air bubble in there, so. Definitely a dope shoe. I don't know the significance of this part on the back, but it's kind of cool, but it has an Alma Menier, uh, I don't know if you can see it. See that logo sitting right there, so that's pretty cool. And then just like the threes, you have that quilted inside. So you see the tongue and the inside is a little quilted, so pretty nice. Let me see if the, the right shoe looks any different. Let's see if the right shoe, let's see if there's a Jordan branding on this one. Uh, no. It's actually, I'm a Meniere branding on both, so. 
Nothing really different about this one. Maybe the tongue. Yeah, so you have that jump man on this, and then you have the Alma Minier logo on the other one. So super dope, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not mad at these. They're not going for too much. I think this size is going for like 350, which is like, I mean, after taxes and fees, you're probably making like a hundred dollars over. So I might just hold on to them. I was thinking about getting my size, but I don't know about that anymore. So like I said, with the Air Jordan uh, collabs, they pretty much do the same, the same sleeve. This is the Air Jordan 3 box. Let me take this off. You have that box with, again, that Violet or uh, Jumpman. So, you know, they stay consistent. I would like them to do something else. They do have the Jordan 12s coming out, but let's see if they, you know, what other projects they have after the, uh, the Jordan 12s. So there you guys have it. You got the Ama Menier Jordan 4s. How does it stack up against the Ama Menier Jordan 3? So I'm still taking the 3s over every other collab they've had. I mean, just, I don't know. The attention to craftsmanship, I think, was a little bit better on the 3s. You got that hairy suede throughout the Nike Air on the back with that like aged back tab, the little hits of purple the cream, the quilted insides. Like, again, this is kind of like following that Amma Minier blueprint, but I think like this perfected it. And they're obviously both better than the ones and twos and definitely the 12. So I'll take these over to fours. Y'all let me know in the comment section below, which one do you like better? And is this your sneaker of the year? I mean, I know everyone says lost and founds and oh, it's kind of the same shoe we've gotten multiple times, but I don't know. I'll take the lost and founds over these any day, but Definitely appreciate y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Leave a like if you haven't subscribed, if you're someone new, and I'll catch you on the next video.